The path of the stampede of the ages is well-worn and easily identifiable. It's where countless generations of people have hurried through life, mindlessly following the heels of those who traveled before them. They're compelled to move on this path at breakneck speeds, keeping up with those in front of them, trying not to get passed by or run over by those behind them. They hardly know in which direction they're traveling. Desperate for someone to slow the pace, they long for rest. Their souls are malnourished, but they don't know how or where to stop. Weary and burdened, they press on. There is another path. It's far less worn and so can be harder to find. But those who dare to avert their gaze and seek it will find it. The path is marked by life, laid out by the Good Shepherd. Courage is required to step off the well-worn path and out of the stampede. This maneuver at first feels unfamiliar and unsteady, but the ground is sure and trustworthy. When you step out, the shepherd will be right there to steady and guide you. When you look up, you'll quickly see that he has prepared a feast for you, right there in the presence of all those still speeding by, the righteous and the unrighteous alike. As you come to the table, you'll realize the air is clear. You can breathe. The noise is quieted. You can hear the voice of the shepherd. There is a place prepared just for you. You can rest your weary limbs. There is a feast laid out for you. You can freely nourish your famished soul. Relief is palatable. Satisfaction is sweet. Abundance is overflowing. Jesus said, come to me, all you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. He has prepared a feast for you. You're invited. Come. Um.